ASOS, it's a brand that lots of us love and for one hell of a good reason because they make some top tier bib shorts. And here we have the new ASOS Melee GTO bib shorts that we're gonna be taking a closer look at today. So let's start with a quick unboxing. As with all ASOS packaging, I'm expecting this to be almost over the top, but you know, you can't diss it. Yep, pretty much. So we've got in this inner sleeve, as always, we've got this nice golden tissue. Got a nice golden touch this time and you get inside and here we are with the shorts. I never throw this stuff away because it makes incredible Christmas wrapping paper. Undo this little plastic panel that holds it all together. I mean, here we are, even, even these little product tabs just feel super plush. And here we are. I mean, I haven't even started looking at it yet, but before you even touch them, you can just feel how plush that chamois is on the inside there. So I suppose now's the time to mention that ASOS have basically designed these shorts to be the most plush, comfortable shorts out there with a whole load of interesting frictionless panel systems, which we'll have a look at in a second. So one thing I really like are all the gold little touch points across everything from basically from the gold in the packaging to all the little touch points and even that gold little booty stamp there, which is a really nice feature. They've got a new strap material. So this is softer than the old one. So going to be more comfortable, but it's also slightly more grippy to skin contact. So once it's in place on your shoulders, it should stay locked in there for your whole ride, which is a really nice feature. Another nice design with these ASOS bib shorts is the fact that they've got that crossover on the back there. So basically what that does is it keeps your shoulder straps locked in as they don't slide around off the side so much. So again, it's just another feature that just keeps you more comfortable without realizing that you're wearing them basically is what you want. So, so it's almost like you don't want to notice you're wearing them at all really, which is I guess the end goal, which might sound a little bit weird, but either way, at the middle of that back point, you've got the classic stamp point. So these are a medium and you can see the M there. I mean, they really go to town on these little touch points and even that is just like a really nice pressed rubber finish. And then just above that, you can see it says engineered in Switzerland and handcrafted in Europe. So ASOS actually call this the X-Bib super flat contouring technology or something along those lines, which is basically just gonna give you that super contoured, comfortable fit. And it's basically that tech from the straps that roll on down into how they can generate a different waist. So this is what they call a zero waist. And when you're holding it in your hands, it feels pretty weird when you, you know, you've held other bib shorts because there's actually, there's no waist really here. It's all super stretchy. And this is, you'll definitely know if you've worn bib shorts before, but when you're in the, in the you know, the aero position, you can feel everything, you know, getting tight and rolling around and like, Almost, if you've got any sort of gut, if you're not if you're not the perfect cyclist, you'll feel your gut sort of tuck up in there. And this is basically going to be super contoured and stretchy, so you won't get that feeling anymore, which is a really nice feature. So again, it's that one step closer to feeling like you're not wearing bib shorts, which is a good thing. So to put it in better words, it's basically just a really good pressure-free system from skin to bib shorts, basically. Speaking of having no pressure, we won't go into this into too much detail, but on the front panel of the shorts, it's got this ultra stretchy, really soft material, which you can see here, you know, it's ultra flexible. You can really shape that into any shape that you want. And that's basically just gonna eliminate any pressure points to any sensitive areas that you'd have down there. If you wanna see pictures of these, or you wanna see the size guide, or basically read the product description because I'm not explaining it well enough, then click on the link up here and you can read all about them on Wiggle. So one of the main things that goes into making bib shorts so comfortable and it seems simple to think of but so many hours go into getting this right is basically just the stitch pattern and design on bib shorts. And with every stitch line that you've got, you've basically got an irritation point which is a rub point against your skin. So ASOS have called this the Louvre Tech which I'm probably pronouncing heavily wrong. And this new design is gonna eliminate those hot points as well as eliminate areas with excess material, which also leads to uncomfort basically. So again, one step close to feeling like you're not wearing bib shorts. So let's have a look at the main party trick, shall we say, and what they're known for doing so well, and that's the insert. I mean, without even going into all the tech and what they've done, it just feels Insane. I mean, as long as they're clean, they'd probably make for a pretty good in-flight travel cushion. So now to go into the tech of it, it does have six different layers of material in there, in different places, in different thicknesses, 
depending on where you need it. And I'm not gonna bore you with all the names of them all, but basically it's got this amazing 3D waffle that's super plush and it's gonna give you the most comfortable ride for even the longest days out in the saddle. It's super breathable, which is gonna help with any saddle irritation. It's super shock absorbing and you can tell that from all the different layers just by squeezing it in your hand. And that's obviously just gonna to go towards that all day comfort. And if you look at these at home, you might suddenly think, bloody hell, they've forgotten to do half the stitching on it. As you can actually put your hand in between the, the bib and the chamois there, but that is there for one good reason. And it's so simple, but it just works so well, which is, I guess, the really nice thing about it. And they call it Golden Gate, so it's like the Golden Gate Bridge. Always got good names at ASOS, but either way, what that's gonna do is when you're in the saddle, the insert is gonna be able to move on its own without being dragged around by the bib being pulled around. So it's gonna make for, I can't say it again, but another, you know, a really comfortable place to be on a bike all day. Let's say it like that, shall we? Either way, just take my word for it. These things are super comfortable. So let's pop this thing back to the right way around. So ASOS use their own proprietary yarns, and that is really good because they can make it exactly how they want, which is obviously half the reason to why they're so expensive, but half the reason to why they're so good too. So these yarns are more stretchy than, than most of the other bib shorts out there. Well, it's like a compression short basically, so it's gonna give you that really good retention when you're in the bib shorts. And then when you get to the bottom of the leg here, you can just flip that out just to show you on camera that it's basically got this sort of polka dot silicone effect gripper system. So wherever you want them to be on your leg to keep those tan lines in check, they're gonna stay there for the whole day. And it's worth mentioning at this point that they come in two different lengths. So they come in a standard, which is what we've got here, and they come in a long leg, which is three centimeters longer. So a little bit more choice for those of you out there that want the longer leg option. So all in all, exactly what you'd expect, some proper top tier bib shorts from ASOS and some really nice features that I think are gonna make them that bit better than their predecessors, which is always a nice thing to have. So if you've got any questions on the shorts that you want us to answer, drop them in the comments and we'll be sure to answer them as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.